My name is Nick Monty. I'm a field agronomist for Pioneer in East Central Missouri. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about early season frost injury, freeze injury to corn. So I took some time lapse video last spring of a freeze event that we had. It's kind of waiting for the right time to show that. And I thought right now, as we are on the cusp of planting, maybe just a little bit planted even, getting ready to go through some adverse conditions, now would be a good time to show that. So in this video, I have corn that was planted on April 3rd. Uh, that corn was about VE, V1-ish by the time of the time-lapse video starts. That video starts on April 19th, and then we had a cold freeze event that happened on the early morning hours of April 21st. So you can see in this video that corn is about VE, V1-ish on the 21st. You can even see a little bit of snow in the picture on April 20th. But the early morning hours, that 28 degree frost happened on the 21st. You can see that plant by afternoon starting to look, the tissues looking water soaked. You can also see that by the afternoon, that plant starts to fall over. And then by the 22nd, that plant is completely dead looking. All the leaf tissue is brown, it's done. But then we give it just a couple days and on the 25th, we start to see some green growth coming up out of the ground. By the 22nd, by the 26th, the whole row is dark green looking from below ground and pushing up. Then you'll notice that plant has a little bit of trouble getting loose, the green leaf tissue getting loose from that dead tissue. It's kind of sandwiching it in there. It won't let those leaves unfurl. And so then it's not the plant in the forefront that you can see at that front part of that picture. It's not until we get to the May 1st almost before that plant is able to fully unfurl and let loose. Sometimes that can cause us issue on things like hail events that happen early on or maybe some patchy frost. That plant can't get unfurled and then by the time it does it's almost a runt or it's a weed compared to the rest of them around them. But you can see in this picture frost event was even all the way across the field. No issues. They were all in the same stage. No problem from getting unfurled from there. You can also see in that video how quickly water hemp can get out of hand as at the very end of that video you can see some start to emerge and two three days later we have an entire carpet of water hemp at the end of that video and it shuts off so the one thing i really want to mention the reason why corn is able to to do this it's able to overcome some early season frost injury freeze injury hail injury is because that growing point stays below ground when corn emerges so it's not until we get to V5 or so that that growing point hits the soil surface, comes above the soil surface. And then at that time, we have an event, a brittle snap event, tail event, whatever. It can shred that plant down and kill it. But before then, the plant has the ability to regrow. Now that is if the freeze injury doesn't take place and go all the way into the soil where it's a really heavy event. Uh, my geography, that's pretty rare, but maybe there's some places where that can happen. That could kill the growing point. But most of the time, the frost injuries we deal with tend to be more just the above ground tissue. So corn has the ability to regrow from it, growing point stays below ground. Soybeans, a little bit different story. So soybeans, when they germinate, that growing point comes above ground at germination. So that's why we worry more about early season issues with soybeans, such as freeze, such as hail, those types of things. Now, soybeans do have multiple growing points, which allow them to overcome some of that a little bit, mitigate some of that risk, but the growing points of becoming coming above ground at germination is why we tend to evaluate soybean injury a little bit more harshly when it comes to stand assessment after a freeze or a frost or a hail event. All right, so just a couple big things I want you to get from this. Number one, corn has the ability to overcome early season issues from frost or from hail because that growing point stays below ground. So unless we get a freeze event that happens all the way down below ground, we, don't, we can regrow from that. We can overcome that. Number two, and probably most important, is as you can see from the video, it took us four or five days before we got, saw some of that regrowth after that freeze injury. So the other thing I want you to remember is that is why we wait four or five days before we come out and we evaluate anything in terms of after a freeze event, after a hail event, you've got to give that plant some time to regrow, to generate some new tissue. I know we all want to look at it right away. We want to look at the damage, but we don't know what the recovery is like unless we give it a little bit of time. So thank you very much for your business and thank you very much for listening. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. 
Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.